Today we are going to be looking at the three theories of the three fundamental theories of machine learning. If you are following this class, Machine Learning 101, then most likely you've, you've, learned, you've learned about the three classes of machine learning problems, that is supervised learning, unsupervised learning, and reinforcement learning. Machine learning is hinged on this three basic sets of problem. And today, machine learning is also based on three fundamental theories that we are going to consider today. These are not really difficult, but they help you to know what, what kind of mathematics you need to know for you to be able to follow through with machine learning. And today, I'm going to take you through all of these. And what I want to recommend is that you follow this course consistently by clicking on the subscribe button or by subscribing so that you don't miss an update. This is lesson 4a or lecture 4a, which follows from lecture 4 and is going to be really very short. So let's look at these three fundamental theories of machine learning and then we see what they are all about. Let's start with the simplest one and that is the probability theory. So we have the probability theory is the branch of mathematics concerned with analysis of random phenomena. So for each of these theories, I have a simple diagram to illustrate it. So in this case, you have two, two, two uh, boxes containing apples and oranges. You are trying to find the chance of taking an apple or taking something from this box. What is the chance it is an orange? What is the chance that it is an apple? That is what the probability theory is all about. No matter how complex it becomes, this is all at what the probability theory is all about. You are trying to find the chance of taking something at random or something happening at random. Now, the next theory follows directly from the probability theory, meaning that if you have chances of things happening, which one do you decide? What decision do you make based on these probabilities that you know? And again, we have the definition here that decision theory is mathematical study of strategies for optimal decision making between options involving risks or expectation of, of gain of loss depending on the outcome. So in this case, we have uh, doctors have to decide whether to perform a surgery or not based on certain tests that they, they carry out. So what decision do they make? This is where decision theory comes in. So sometimes they have an application, they feed in the data, the application comes out with a result, the surgery needs to be performed 99% certain or 85% certain this surgery needs to be performed. So decision theory is what goes in goes on behind the hood to help doctors or physicians make the decision. There are many other areas decision theory applies, but for now just know that decision theory is the second uh, the second building block or the second fundamental theory of machine learning. So taking it from the easiest to the hardest, the easiest or the most common is probability theory followed by decision theory, which actually has to do with if you have hacks of probabilities, what decision do you now make? Which one, what do you choose along the line? Then the last building block, the third one, or the third theory is information theory, all right? This is actually the one that is a bit uh, challenging to learn, but believe you me, or believe me, we are going to go through it. It's a mathematical study of coding of information in the, in the form of sequences, of symbols and, and impulses or, or other things. So what is this all about? So don't worry about this, uh, this what I've displayed on the screen. It simply has to do with how to represent the information using symbols. So for instance, when you say f of x is equal to 2x plus y, all right, f of, a, f of x is equal to 2x plus 1. You're actually using information theory, you're codifying the information using a set of symbols which includes algebra. So information theory heavily has something to do with both algebra, uh, a bit of calculus, but I'm not sure we are going to get all into that. So one thing I want you to quickly know is that these three uh, theories, let's go to the so we have probability theory has you can see that it has to do with branch of mathematics. And the next one, the next one, which is decision theory, it also has to do with mathematics. And the last one, which is information theory, is also mathematical study. So I want you to see the, the, the whole spectrum of uh, the knowledge of mathematics you need uh, to learn machine learning. But the interesting thing is, 
we simply need some chunks, some bits of mathematics from all these uh, different three theories we mentioned. And we are going to do this together. It's not going to be easy. It's not going to be difficult. So the next class will be lesson five, and we are going to start with probability theory. So this is kind of a preparation for the next class, which is probability theory. I would like to thank you for viewing, and I would like to also remind you to share this video among your friends. If there is somebody you want that may like to learn machine learning, I will see you in the next lesson.